In this video, we'll take a look at removing the background from an illustration bitmap in CorelDRAW and then converting that to a monochrome for screen printing output. Also for the ability to change the color of the illustration and present some additional options to our clients. To get started, I want to resample this. So I'm going to bring this out in size and make it bigger. I'm going to go, let's say it's here, we got 14, maybe right about there, 13 inches. I'm going to go to bitmap resample and change this to 300 dpi. By cubic will be fine. We'll select OK. Now this is 300 dpi. The next step is to go to bitmap edit bitmap and that'll open the illustration or the bitmap image in Corel Photo Paint. Now looking at this what I want to do is take the background out but this is already set as a background object in Corel. Now if I try to delete the background it won't work if the object is set as a background but if I come over here and click creates an object from background left click now I have an object now I can create a transparent background. The next step is that I want to go to my masking tools. I'm going to go to the magic wand. Now, by default this is set to 10 so we'll set this to 10 and I want to take a look at some things here. I'm going to go back to the object selection tool here and we'll go into here and zoom in and take a look and we can see that there is a outline here that was included in this illustration based on this area of a white light gray here. We want to keep that outline from the illustration. Now if I go to the magic wand tool with the default tolerance of 10 and I'm going to turn off anti-aliasing and I click, you'll see that we go into that outline and I don't want to do that. I want to keep that outline that came with the illustration. So I'll hit Control R to remove the mask and I'll go to my tolerance and change that to say 5. Now tolerance is like how much color will the mask identify before it applies. So I just reduced or made it smaller. Now when I click you'll see that I'm keeping that outline based on my marching ants. I'll zoom out pulling back on my center mouse wheel. And we can see we've got some other areas that we need to add to our mask here, up here, above the helmet, and in the banner. Now I've got a mask around the entire outline of the illustration, but I'm going to hold down Shift, and then I'm going to click here, and go here again, and then I'll hold down Shift here, do the same here, same here, same here, same in here and the same in here. Now I have a complete selection of the entire background working with the magic wand tool. Now all I need to do is go ahead and hit the delete key and that will remove my background. But one thing I want to be aware of and I'll hit control Z and I want to show you this. If I don't have a masking tool selected, let's say I have the object selection tool selected and I hit delete. It just deletes everything. I'll hit control Z to go back. So you definitely want to have a masking tool selected when you hit delete to delete the background but maintain your illustration or whatever it is that you're trying to take the background out of. From here I can hit control R to remove the background and then go to save and photo paint and that'll save the illustration back into Corel Draw, and I can close Photo Paint, and we can see we now have our illustration here with the background removed. So at this point, what I want to do is convert this to a monochrome bitmap, so that I could run it through simple steps for half tone separation or half toning. Also, when I have a monochrome bitmap, I can change the colors, and that's the only bitmap in Corel Draw where you can really easily change colors. So to do that, I'm going to go to my color factory. I 
and that'll come up and with this selected I'm going to click create monochrome and that will create a perfect monochrome bitmap very quickly in Corel Draw and that's the color factory it does monochrome dual tone tritone etc for your design work in Corel Draw and I'll minimize this now that this is set up as a monochrome I'll bring this over on top of the t-shirt I won't need this anymore so I can delete that just select it and hit the delete key. Now from my monochrome, if I left click, I control the background color. So I can come up here to transparent and give myself a transparent background. I can resize the illustration and put that on the garment at a rough position of the printing size and we'll zoom in here. And then I can right click and change the color. Let's say we want to show the client what a gray would look like as opposed to a black or a darker blue for the print or a darker green. So you can see working with the monochromes, we can give our clients color options that go beyond just what the illustration came as, but we'll go back to black here. So that's how I would set that up in Corel Draw, working from the client supplied art and using Corel Photo Paint with the masking tools to knock out the background of the image and then convert it to the perfect monochrome so that I have control of the color of the actual illustration that was provided by the client. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.